Hello, quilting sisters. Hey, I wanted to do a little video so that we could do social distancing, but still be in contact, I guess. Hey, so I tried this once and this is my second try. So we're going to see how well I do this time. Uh, I wanted to share some tips and tricks or whatever. Um, so if any of you want to share some too, just do a video and upload it to YouTube. Um, okay, so I've been watching a lot of videos, YouTube videos. Um, Karen Brown from Just Get It Done Quilts is inspiring. So if you have a little spare time, you should look at hers. And I have been reading some blogs and stuff. So I've been trying to compile everything that I'm learning into one thing. So the first thing I did, I took a picture of every UFO I had. Uh, enlightening in a lot of ways. <laughs> but um, I'm very visual. I'm a quilter. So I decided to work with what I have instead of fighting it. So I took a picture of every project and then I did a um, poster board. And on the right hand side of the poster board is projects I have to get done in 2020. And in the middle is all the quilt alongs or block of the months or anything like that. That was a continuation that I really probably should get done like soon because they probably should have been done a while ago. And on the other side of it is uh, projects I'd like to do this year. Not necessarily have to, but like to. So I got that done and then I made a binder. And in this binder, I have the pictures and I subcategorize them into different project sizes. I did small, uh, fall, spring, summer, winter. I did baby quilts. So I divided them up that way. So visually, if I need a baby quilt, I go and look in my baby section and I see what I already have on hand. Um, I did this just for my projects. And I'm not going to tell you how many. Uh, but I, I love having the visuals. So I got it up, got it going and found that I got sidetracked. <laughs> I know, you're surprised, right? So this is what I was gonna have everybody bring their books that Nancy made. And this is my list for this year. This is the real UFOs and the unexpected ones. I don't know if I've got them all where they should be, but this was my reasoning behind it was I make a list every year and I put them in this book actually. And I, I accomplished quite a bit, but I looked at them and I thought, Hmm, there's a lot of those that are not my UFOs. They were unexpected or not on my list. Right. It came up. Somebody had a baby, uh, a, a cancer gift, a graduation gift, you know, something like that. And I'm not saying those aren't good because they are, but I really wanted to shift my focus onto getting stuff done that I had. So for me, I, that's why I went with the pictures and Jill had done it with her, um, UFOs and put it on the boxes and I loved it. And so I just took it a little bit further. Now, that being said, I have decided that I still get distracted. <laughs> Because I, oh, I shouldn't do that, huh? I, uh, I gotta turn my page so I can tell you about the, I need my room to be more visually less cluttered. That was not proper English. Sorry for those that like that. I need it visually less cluttered. I need to not see projects sitting around. I need to have it either put away and so I just see the pictures so that I can focus on what I should be focused on. Does that make sense? So Karen Brown does a video on bullet journaling and you can go look at it. It's great. But she does different pages for different things and I know uh, Sarah is a great bullet journaler so you can ask her questions too. Uh, but she had a few pages that I thought would interest you and 
interested in me. Um, she has a, a goal list and it has personal, ha home, family, quilting, friends. Anyway, so I like that. But she also did an inventory of what her UFOs are. So I feel like I've done that with my pictures. And then she has a list of things she wants to make. Like she, a pattern that she had bought or, you know, something like that. Anyway, um, she also has a bucket list of places to go. So a bucket list of projects she wants to do and a bucket list of places she wants to go. And she does a... Um, lending library page which I thought was actually a good idea because I lend stuff out and I have no idea I'll be honest where it went and uh she does a fat quarters or pre-cuts page which I thought was really a good idea because um sometimes like if a fabric's on sale and I'm like oh I think I have some of that at home this would go with it right and then I promptly buy the wrong stuff so Anyway, I thought that would be a good idea too. So she does have some other ideas. So you should go tune into her video and look at that. Um, that was one of the tips I was going to give on retreat this year because I thought it was a great idea to uh, be a little more organized. And uh, the one question I'm going to ask that I'd like you to respond to, you can respond any way you want, uh, what is it that holds you back from getting stuff done? Like, and it can be more than one reason. And I totally can understand that. Um, but I did discover I would not have thought that was my major problem sometimes. But I do get distracted by my environment. So I love things being out, but I need to do less. I need to have less stuff out. So that is what I'm working on. At this time and have been since January uh, I would like to get less things sitting out so that I could focus more on what needs to get done well I hope you have a great day happy quilting today and get back with me on your things that keep you from getting your projects done see ya